Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this Elements tutorial. Now this will be good if you are just starting out in Elements, if you've used it a little bit. Um, I'm going to go through and add a menu and a banner, um, the beginnings of a new website basically. So yeah, if you're not familiar with Elements, this might be a good one to watch to kind of get up to speed. Um, now I'll try and go pretty quick with this because uh, the video will get pretty long otherwise and I know your time is limited. So. Um, here we go. So I've got a new document, brand new document, opened up as normal, and I've got an untitled page. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to call that Home. Um, and I'm also going to customize the UI. Uh, so if you've not used Elements before, you can just drag these around. Um, I'm going to put the node browser here. Um, and this will list out all the nodes we have on our page. So um, here's our component list. And I'm going to start by adding a container just so we can see this node list start to build up here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of space on this. Um, I want spacing, not background. And we're going to add some padding. Now here you'll notice I've just clicked this blue line and that links these two values together so that I can modify the top and bottom at the same time. Um, but let's go ahead and get a menu in here. So I just drag the menu and I'm going to put that above the container. Now, right now it just says my website, which is a generic title. It's just got home there, which is the name of our home page. So let's go back to pages. And if I add, um, I can add some more pages here. Let's call this one contact. And you'll see if I go back to home, there's contact there. And what I also want to do, let's add a folder. I can add a folder and we'll call this projects. So this isn't a page, it's just a folder, but it does appear in the menu. And I can add some sub pages to this new page here, um, project one, and um, let's duplicate this page and we'll call this project two. So now I've got a menu at the top. Uh, let's go and preview this in the browser. Ooh, wrong button. Let's preview this in the browser. And so you'll see I've got this little drop down menu. Uh, we'll need to customize the styles here, but you can see they're listed along the top. Um, I'm going to change the uh, we'll start customizing the look of this menu and get something that looks a bit nicer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the gap on these items here. Let's make them a bit bigger. That looks nice. And I also want to increase the font size. Uh, so I'm going to pick size and we'll go XL. That's looking pretty good. And I can change the color as well. Now this is the default state of the um, menu items. Um, and you can see that here with these two and then we've got an active state and that's the home page because we're on the home page at the moment that's the active state um, but I could set that to a brand color maybe so our active color and our hover there is uh, the our brand color and it's important to use and um, what I'd recommend doing is using brand and accent color surface and text these top ones for your site because then if you change the theme um, it will change the look of it as well, which I'll just show you now. If we bring up the theme settings, there's a few built-in themes, and when I change these, you'll notice the font changes and the color, and this becomes more apparent the more um, the bigger your site is, the bigger the design is. You know, the more objects you've got on the page, you'll kind of see this change more dramatically. Um, but right now, these are just different colorways here, and you can see that changing. Uh, we can all, always override things. These are all the values that we're using in our theme. And the great thing is here, these are all central. So you can come in here and customize these and create new colors, things like that. Um, we've got dedicated videos on the Theme Studio. So you can go to the manual and learn more about this. Um, so let's carry on with this site. Uh, what I want, I want a bit more spacing because this menu item is very, very slim at the moment. So I'm going to add some padding to this. Uh, that's probably too big. Uh, let's knock it down to five. Um, let's have a look. I also want to change our logo. At the moment, we're just using the site title, um, which is in the site settings here. That's when I press this cog, you get the site settings. So it's just using this, but I actually want to use a logo in here. Um, which would use this logo from here. But what I actually want to do, I'm going to use the drop zone in there and that allows us to place anything in here. So let's go back to our components and I'm going to drop an SVG in here, an SVG graphic. That's great. And 
I imported some resources just for this project. So we had some um, items in here, but you can just drag and drop these in from the finder to build this up, uh, your own resources. Uh, I've got a logo SVG, which I'm gonna drop in there. And that looks good. Um, let's go ahead and change the sizing a little bit because maybe we want that bigger. Um, and we can also change the fill color. So again, I'm gonna pick my brand color. And this is important because now, now I've picked my brand color, I can obviously add a custom color in here. I could add, um, I could just add a new color and then you can call this um, brand. And this overrides um, the brand color in the theme. So now, um, you know, you can see this all changing. So if I stick to this, brand color then all the objects in my site will change which is really which is really important um, as your site gets bigger and a really nice feature um, but let me get rid of that for now we'll just stick with blue and obviously if i change themes um, let me pick there we are you can see that changing color which is nice um, but we'll stick with this uh, blue one um, now the background for my menu is currently set to surface, which is nice. And this is kind of like an off white, but I might want this um, menu to be pure white. Um, so that's looking better. Let's go and view this in the browser. Yeah, so now we've got this nice menu building up here. Um, and we've got another drop zone over here where we can add things. We can add anything in here we want, but I am going to add a button. Um, and then we can say find us um, and we can just customize this button so um, all the the radius on here is set to default and that's quite nice again because themes have different border radiuses on that default setting so as I change through these you can see this um, this changes automatically based on the theme whether it's kind of a harsh angular theme um, or something a bit more um, curved. So um, yes, yeah, so you, you can obviously change this to be anything you want. And if I click this little icon here, this gives us um, some arbitrary value. So we, we can set whatever we want there. Uh, you can see I've just curved that one corner, um, but we don't want that. Um, we'll leave it like this. Uh, let's stick with the uh, system. We can set a hover for this. It's currently on static. Um, but if we set a hover for the button, we have a start state and an end state. Um, the start state, let's give it the brand color and the end state there. We'll give it the... Sorry, I'm going to edit this because I'm actually on borders um, when I should be on background. So um, we've got the start and end. Uh, let's go to accent there. There we are. So now when we hover over this, um, we change that. And let me go back to static and just leave those borders on. So yeah, background, we've got start and end state. And then we've got this nice hover color when we go in there. And we could leave that on brand and just have it go a darker brand color, which is quite nice. Um, all right, and we'll put a bit of padding again on this button a little bit more because I want that to be bigger. Uh, maybe not that big. Um, there we go, that's looking nice. And I can go and change the text size to match this. So um, let's go large or XL. Or well, let's go large and just make it a little bit bolder um yeah so this is looking good so there is our menu and we can get some um content in here what i want this is a i'm going to use this as the banner on my site um so i want to put a background image in here rather than a color so let's switch to image and i'm going to go back over to my resources and uh, let's drop one of these in oops drop one of these in here because it's on the background um so we can play around with a few, a few different ideas here. Um, let's change the sizing of this. I'm gonna change the height. Uh, we'll switch to theme. And we can use these predefined theme settings. This is good if you want consistent sizes across your site for things, and you can customize those in the theme studio. Um, or we can click this little icon here and this gives us full control and we can use any CSS values we want in here. So um, I could use like a vertical height, um, value or we can use a pixel value so I can say 650px 
uh, maybe a little bit big. There we are, 550px. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Uh, we want some text on there. Um, so I'm going to drag in some text there. Um, so we can't really see that at the moment. Let's change the color. Uh, we're on text. I'm going to change that to white. And let's change the size of this. Boom, that's looking good. Um, and rather than it being the body font, we can change it to the heading font. And this will become more important depending on the theme you have selected. Um, you can see it's changing there. And that will be different from the body font. But again, you can um, set these things up in here and override them and pick your own fonts for body and heading. But it's really nice to have these set up because then this gives us a consistent look. So everywhere I can use this heading font and whatever we set in the theme studio, it will use that everywhere. Uh, we'll just call this welcome to arc. Um, we can center this and I think we probably want this a bit bigger. That's looking good. And um, we can just duplicate this. I'm just holding down option and dragging it. Um, We are, and let's make this smaller. And probably don't need it as bold. Um, and let's bring down the line height on that to bring them closer together. Now, text is depending on which image you have. Um, might be thinking the text is hard to read. Um, so we could darken this background image. So we can select that and on the background overlay, we can just say we want it static and let's bring down the opacity there. And now we're using these colors here. So again, I could pick uh, the brand color and we could overlay that um, just to bring it down a little bit so we can see. Um, or we could blur this if we wanted to. We could do that on, um, on the filters here. We've got a backdrop blur so we could set that to oh uh, no we could set the blur set the blur here to 10 but it blurs everything so we just want to apply that to the background so there we are so you could do that at kind of like five percent um, but I don't think we want to do that on this one particularly I kind of like just the background overlay there so already we are building up a um, quite a nice site here and this is really simple all we've got is uh, let's close this down a little bit All we've got we've got a menu at the top and then I've um, dragged in an SVG for my logo and then we've just got a container here and I've got two text items just uh, centered on top of each other um, really easy and then I could go ahead and build out the rest of this page but this was just a quick tutorial just to show you how to build this stuff if you're just really if you're you've literally just starting out in elements um, we've got other tutorials that show uh, that show more in-depth things but I just wanted to do a quick one to get you started if you're uh, new so uh, so there we go so yeah this is really nice if I click around these you can see this kind of changing um, changing the look of the site so that's really nice um, and you can go on tweaking these settings to get it to look how you want and then if I was going to add some content down here I would add another container and then we could add a flex or a grid to start laying things out really nicely but I'll cover that in another video we'll do more of a deeper dive on a on the grid and flex and how they work um, but I hope you found this useful especially if you're starting out and um, yeah check out our YouTube channel because we have got absolutely tons of videos on there that go through specific things and also do check out the manual because we're working on that and that's growing kind of every week we're fleshing that out to add details to what everything does um, and if you do get stuck or want to know how to do something just ask on the forum we're always around to help and we can do short little videos just to show you how to do things all right thanks for watching this one and i will see you in the next cheers bye